many notes going on. That's the first thing. Okay. It's, it's too, you, you need to squeeze more out of... Uh, Rests. No, more out of the notes. Okay. Okay. So, let's Maybe let's play this vibrato. little... Just holding notes vibrato more, too? Yeah, but you need to get more life out of the notes, not more notes, okay? So, let's take this little arpeggio here, this C-sharp minor. Mm -hmm. pitch here. Okay, G sharp. playing a phrase like this, you have to identify in emotion what is what are the where are the dramatic parts of the phrase. Okay, the whole phrase is is really cool, but where are the dramatic parts? Okay, the this band, right? And the end. You can get more out of that by doing stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice, yeah. Okay. And that note right there, the ninth. That's real dramatic. Play the mm -hmm. chords again real quick. See that little phrase there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try that. It's just one note. Um. I'm on G. I'm on G, one half step lower. Bending up to. No, it's a G sharp. This right. is the note we're hitting. Yeah, the bands should be smaller in this case. Okay, now try that down here. Okay, I'll play the chords for you and you just experiment with this a little bit. Okay. okay. But do you understand that the idea here is to really try and find where the maximum emotional points are. Yeah, yeah, I get that. And then totally. let's let's bring that out through the phrasing, whether that's through uh, creating, creating more tension with these bends, you know, these glissandi, basically. Yeah. And the last time, we just made it real slow. Yeah. Okay, then that, this note's real important here. Yeah. Okay. Well, when you played it earlier, you put more emphasis on this. Yeah. I think it might sound a little bit more dramatic if we get to the ninth faster. I mean, don't hang on the third as much. Okay. Okay. some bluesier type things and that's cool but that, that's like what everybody does in this situation they go to the pentatonic stuff and there's nothing wrong with that there's a lot of cool stuff and you played some cool phrases in there but let's 
let's, I'm not saying that you are doing this, but you may be doing this. What, what I don't want you to do is to fall back on the default, the old patterns of, well, the blue stuff always works. Yeah. Or the pentatonic stuff we'll always works. And, stuff. It, and it does, and it's cool. But let's, uh, let's try and get more out of the half steps that occur in the scale. All the drama's in the half steps. Yeah, I, I totally agree. You okay. Yeah. So... By, now, by anyway. playing them. Play the chords for me again, and I'll, I'll just give you a little example. seventh in this case. All right. Which by the way is a totally illegal note against the C sharp minor seventh chord. Yeah. Because you're playing a, you got the B yeah. in the chord and I'm playing B sharp. But it go back up it Yeah, I'm not doing release and yeah. a little interest. Right. Yeah. So you try that. So we, so these half steps between C sharp and B sharp. Yeah, between the ninth and the third. Okay, and then between the A and the G sharp six and the five. So those notes are all over the place, right? Oops, I really out there. <laughs> okay, so really focus on those and bring out as much drama out of those pitches as you can before start playing, before you start playing a bunch of blues stuff. Okay. Okay, because if you're going to play the blues stuff in a context like this, it's not a bluesy tune, reserve that, hold that back, reserve that for later. Okay. So then when you start playing it, it's, it sounds good because it's cool, not because, like, well, that's what everybody does. Yeah. Because that's what everybody does do. Yeah, it, you're totally right when you say it, to fall back on it. Right, so yeah. Like, oh, crap, what do I play? It's, it's like, like, you know, <laughs> stock licks, you know, or stock, stock scale.